All right, guys. Today is Sunday, October 27th. The day after she gave birth to 11 puppies, guys. That is a lot of puppies. Uh, there are seven males and four females. There are two black nose female and two black nose male. And the rest are all red, red noses. So there's a lot of puppy, a lot of red nose. Um, they're supposed to be 12, but one of them was born uh, stillborn. And it was a male red, red nose also. So there, there is a lot of red nose in this litter. Uh, right here we have five puppies in right here she divided half and half five here and five in the back here or six in the back here see there's one two three four five six back there yeah there's and there's five right there but there's one right there behind her also so that's the sixth one and then there's five right here in the front there's one two three four five she divided half and half so they can all eat it's it's a smart way to do it because if uh, she had all all of them in the front here some of them wouldn't get to eat. They'll be pushed back. They'll be laid over here, around here. Uh, back there is where the heating pad is at. So you can see right there the cord. So the cord comes along right here. That means that the heating pad is right, right there. Comes up this way about up to the uh, the door right here, and then goes down that way, and then goes back over there. So it's a, it's a uh, pretty much just like a square heating pad. It's a heavy duty heating pad for uh, farm animals. I've had it for so long that it's still working. Again, there's 11 puppies, 7 males, and 4 females. Um, there's this little tiny red, red nose female. She was born after I fell asleep. I don't, don't know where she's at, but she is tiny. She must have been the last one born. I didn't, I didn't think she was gonna make it this this long, but she's still alive. I think that it might be that one right there, that little tiny one, uh, the smallest one. In the runt of the litter is a red red nose female. Um, there are only two red nose females. Okay, so the rest are all males. five red red nose male and two red red nose female and then there's two black nose male and two black nose female so these are all in pairs if the uh, red red nose male would have survived that would have been an even pair litter everyone has a, a twin But, um, well, I hope all of them make it, you know, it's uh, survival of the fittest, survival of the strongest, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot, if she's a good mom, 
and doesn't step on them or lay on them, or she's aware and feeds everybody, and more than likely they will all survive. All they have to do is get through this first three days. The first three days is usually the hardest days of a newborn's life. If they can make it the first three days and and then they don't get stepped on after that, they will more than likely survive. And it's also depend on the mom too. If, if she keeps herself clean and she keeps, you know, she, uh, keeps this this area right here clean and uh, lick them before they piss or poop they will all survive because she wouldn't she she wouldn't have any uh, infection herself and therefore the puppies will be able to drink the milk out of her and they will all survive but you know if there's a lot of puppy like this if she's not, she's not a good cleaner, you know, and they they uh, poop a lot and piss a lot in here, and she doesn't clean it, then she'll probably end up with uh, mastitis or something. And and when that happens, you know, she won't be able to feed them anymore, and therefore uh, they'll have to be bottle fed. And when that when that happens, uh, some of some of them won't make it because there's just way too many puppies. It's hard to take care of all these puppies if she's not taking care of them because these puppies need to be clean every single day. They have to be licked every day. You know, you can't just. Um, you can't just wipe them with your towel and things like that. You know, you can do it, but, you know, they're still wet. They'll be wet. They'll be cold. You know, it's not the same as the mother's tongue. Mother's tongue um, cleans them, and they dry right away. They dry up right away. You know, it's not like water. It's not like a towel. The towel, when you use a towel to clean the puppies they stay wet and it takes a few minutes you know it takes a long time to dry up and they could be cold they'll be cold and they'll be chilled and um, they won't survive if they're a little bit older they might it'll be easier so it all depends on how you know how old they are when she starts having problems because this is a lot of asses to clean. You know, um, she's definitely gonna get um, a lot warmer as the, the days go by because that's a lot of ass to lick. A lot of worms will go inside of her. You know, I mean, a lot of worms will, will, uh, will, uh, inside of her you know there's worms inside of her already but when she licks all these asses um, it activates more of her worms and they'll start breeding more you know just because it's so nasty and plus she's licking their ass so um, worms they'll get she she's gonna be eating the puppy's worms too and um, we will have to do warm her every week you know, try to do warm her every week. If she looks warming, we will do, uh, we will do warm her. But uh, this this female here, the mom, she is she has a, a high tolerance for worms. You know, it doesn't bother her that much because she's a she's a shit eater. You know, she eats her own shit whenever she can. And, um, she always look good, even when she does that. You know, some dogs, when they start eating shit, you can tell right away that they've been eating shit just because the way that their body shapes, the way they look, you know, 
No, they look shitty. The body looks shitty. You can tell right away. But this one right here, she's been eating shit her whole life. So she has a high tolerance for uh, eating shit. You can say she's a shit eater. And uh, as bad as it sounds, shit eaters are actually a really good mom. Because they got it from their mom, you know. That means that when they when they were uh, the, they, the mom passed that trait down to them because they have to eat shit when they're you know when when their their mom has to eat shit when they're born in order to keep the kennel clean, keep the area clean for them to survive. So therefore, the mom had to eat their shit, and it's just instinct. If a female doesn't like to eat sh puppy shit. That means she's a bad mom. She didn't take care of them. But the females that do enjoy eating shit, you know, puppies poop and piss, don't even touch the kennel. They can smell it right away and they'll take care of it before it even touches the ground. And that'll prevent, um, that'll prevent the kennel from having viruses, you know, from when there's poop on the kennel, you could tell, you know, you could tell because there's just, uh, little, little tiny droplets, it'll, it, at first it'll be sticky and stuff, you know, and then the puppies will start moving like that, and then it'll just turn into little particles, little black particles, like, like that right there, that's not shit, that's the, it looks like that right there but that right there is just the uh, umbilical cord that fell off the puppy but it looks similar like that and it'll be it'll be like over here by the corners you know around the corner because they push it the, that poop towards the corner towards the edge and that's when you know that the mom is not taking care of the puppies that well you know I've had females that does that you know, they'll, uh, like, Red Baby's mom, she doesn't, she doesn't like to eat puppy shit. You know, every day when I come in, I'll, ha I'll have to clean up the, the cage because I see little particles and stuff, and, um, uh, I know that, and I see shit stain, you know, on there. You know, it don't look like that, but that right there, that's, that's from, uh, her giving birth, you know. That's from her giving birth and she licked it. Those are like the fluid from the puppies when they were born. Uh, she licked the crap out of this gray afterwards. And she also kept herself pretty clean. Look at that. You know. You can see you can see the stain on her on the bottom of her tail, but that's expected because she's still uh, liquid still coming out of her like blood and stuff you know and the placenta is still coming out like the leftover is still coming out but I haven't given her a bath yet look how clean she is this is how she looked like before she gave birth she has kept herself really clean she licked herself all the time <coughs> <coughs> She has kept herself really clean. She kept the puppies clean. She's a really good mom. To take care of this many puppy, uh, the first day and they're still alive, that's really good. And uh, when I left her out, she doesn't really want to go out either, unless she has to. Uh, the whole time she gave, she was giving birth. She she did not go out at all whatsoever you know normally females will you know take a break and go outside and piss and poop and stuff but she did not step out of this crate once she has a high tolerance for uh, pooping and pissing she barely does it this is the fish that will uh this is the fish that can hold her, her piss and poop all day. She only 
at the most, she will only poop twice a day. You know, usually my dogs, they will poop like three, four times a day. If they eat a full meal, and you know, they'll, they'll poop three, four times a day with a full meal on her, two times at the most. You know, she can even go without pooping twice. She could poop once only. You know, and she'll hold it till the next day. That's how, how high tolerance her uh, her kidneys are. She's not a. She, it was hard. It was hard to determine when she was gonna poop. Um, since she was a puppy, I've got her since her and her brother since they were nine weeks old, and they were so hard to train because they would not cooperate. You know, they would not go out and poop like the rest of the dogs. You know, so sometimes they poop in their prey because they would poop outside. You know, they would just poop like once and um, and then they wouldn't do it again. And then like middle of the night, they would poop in their prey. And um, it was so hard to train these dogs. That's why this one here lives outside most of the time during the summer. It took a long time, like a really long time to, for me to understand her, the way she is, you know, how strong her kidney is. Uh, now, now she's better, you know, she's better now. This one here, every once in a while, she will still poop in her crate. You know, when she goes outside, she just takes her a long time to piss. She's not a normal, like a normal dog where uh, she'll go out there, and, you know, and then just piss right away. She, she'll like wander around after whoever she goes out with after they're done pooping and pissing, and then she'll start her piss. So she loves to take her time. Her and her brother, man, they, they do it on their own term. And then, um, you know, dogs are all done and stuff, and everybody comes in, and she's still out there looking for a spot to poop. You know, and sometimes she don't even poop at all. So that's one good thing about her kidneys that I have to admit she is she has strong kidneys. She can hold her poop and piss way longer than all the other dogs. And the bad thing about it is that she does take her time. She's slow taking care of business. I love dogs that you let them know they know what to do. They take care of it right away. And then they'll, uh, when you tell them to come in, they're done already. And then, you know, when they're done, they come in, like, they come back to the door. You don't, know, you don't have to, like, supervise them. Those are the, my stamina dogs. They're really smart. And they're really, uh, they know how you feel. They know what you're thinking. And they do what you say. You know, you don't even have to say nothing. And they understand you. It like they can read your mind. You know, they, they do what you're expected of them. But this one here, she's different. She's stubborn. She doesn't do what you want her to do. She does her she does it on her own terms. Alright guys, just wanna show the after aftermath of her uh of her pregnancy. She, again, she has 11 puppies, 7 males, 4 females, 2 black nose males, 2 black nose females, uh, 2 black nose, I mean, 2 red red nose females, 5 red red nose males. 5 are up here in the front, and 6 are in the back. She makes sure everybody gets their share, fair share of milk. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.